Yes, I made it. I'm at the top of Chinadir Mountain. Check this out. Right there. Boom. Mount Adams. Right there. Can you see it? Mount St. Helens. Eagle Creek Canyon and boom. Right there. We've got Mount Jefferson and boom. Right there. We've got Mount Hood. Beautiful lenticular cloud. About six miles in and this is the highlight nature-wise of the hike. This is called Tunnel Fall. So the trail I'm on is going to go over here and go into the rocks there behind the falls and come out right over there onto what they call the Vertigo Mile. And you are about to see what it looks like coming out from under the falls. Let's do that. So this is about pack weight and what I'm carrying. 
One thing is, just pack all out for three nights, four days, came in at 29 pounds. So I'm not doing ultralight backpacking, I'm not even doing lightweight backpacking, but I'm trying. My, my system's getting lighter. But what I wanted to say is this, weighs 29 pounds, and two years ago, I weighed 29 pounds heavier. So it's a great, great thing to get out and exercise and come out into the forest. So what I've got here, I've got the uh, REI Flat 65. I took out the frame sheet, lost about a pound and a half. I took off the uh, top cap, also lost some weight there. I added in a, a piece of Reflex Tech material right here in the back. That's kind of a uh, dual-use frame sheet. I take it out at night. I put it under my feet in the uh, in the hammock because I'm using a two-thirds, two-quarters underquilt. I don't know how many people do this, but I like to hang my pack when I stop, keep it kind of clean. And right now, because my pack is kind of overloaded, I've got my four-bonnet blackbird on the bottom. It's got a thin, stiff stuff sack, and, stuff sack, and I don't want to put it on the ground. Up with the pack, I like it. Inside, I've got a water bladder with about a liter of water, and outside, I've got a uh, smart water bottle with about a liter of water and uh, and a uh, hydration tab in it. So that's what I do. What do you do? Well, I've made it to three and a half mile bridge, high bridge, and if you want to see a the trail, you can see right up here, some people are coming right into view right now. That's the trail that goes right along the side of the cliff. I've done a video on this portion of this trail in the past, and I'll link it uh, down below here. This is my little wood stove. On top of it's a uh, Snow Peak Solaris cup. Holds a little more than two cups. And below is just a... Uh, hardware cloth stand that's about 10 squares high and a, uh, a windscreen. Here's the stove in alcohol mode. You'll see that the there's a couple pent stags holding the alcohol burner at five squares down. And uh, works quite well. This windscreen is also held in place by the pen stakes that are cut to a shorter length so they, they fit inside the uh, inside the pot. Close. Ooh, almost. Good morning, Rockwell Creek. This is the first view of the Columbia River Gorge coming out of a four-day trip. Rained all night. Blue sky right now. It was raining this morning. It's about 9 a.m. and I say I got another thousand vertical and about three more miles to end my day. Nice trip. Water filter check. I'm using a Sawyer two-liter bag into a Sawyer two-liter bag. It's gravity filter. It does the work. It takes about two or three minutes for that to do it. No pumping. I like it. It's not the lightest, but it certainly isn't the heaviest either. And I can go back to camp with a dirty bag, that one, filled with dirty water and then filter it later. So I have uh, four liters straight up to the camp with this, plus I have my uh, smart water bottle, which will also be full. That's how I'm doing it. And that, my friends, is the Bonneville Dam. Hydroelectricity. Renewable. Green. They have fish ladders, but the salmon don't like it. Salmon don't like it at all. Now I'm going to say a shout out to Titty. Get out and hike, take a friend, and most importantly, have a really great time. Bye bye.